Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Oli Moss. Welcome to the Equine Photo School. Today, we're gonna talk about Aperture. I'm gonna help you learn Aperture. We're gonna master it. You're gonna be really comfortable with it. I've got an exercise for you to do that you can do at home. Like you see, I'm at home right now in my little RV. So there's really no excuse for you not to be able to do this. Uh, it doesn't take up much table space here. You can do this outside if it's a nice day. Um, but it, you know, you can do this anytime inside your own home. First thing we're gonna do is open up all the windows so you let as much light in. If it's nighttime, don't worry about it. You can do it with the house lights. Um, I've got my camera set up over here. I've got a little scene set up here. I've got some horses and uh, they're on a little cloth with a repeating pattern on it. So we can see how this depth of field is changing uh, on the ground as well as on each little figure. So we can see it move basically from shot to shot to shot, we can see that depth of field grow and we can see what it's gonna do as we change our aperture. So let's dive right into this camera, start taking some pictures and seeing what the different apertures do. Okay, so now here we are on our scene with our little horses that I talked about a second ago. And you can see that front to back, we've got the camera and then one horse, two horse, three horses, some bales of hay and some little trees set up here. So I'm gonna focus this camera on this little middle horse here, this little Shetland pony, and we're gonna change the aperture and see how that aperture changes our depth of field. Okay, so what you can see here is the scene set up and my camera aiming at the scene. I've switched it to aperture priority. Uh, for Canon, it's aperture priority. You might just check your owner's manual if you have a different brand than Canon. And that's gonna let us control the aperture and the camera is gonna to set the exposure for us. So it's gonna do all the rest of the thinking. It's kind of like a semi-automatic mode. So set on aperture priority and then open it up on Canon to use the little wheel and you go to 2.8 on this lens. If you have a different lens, just open it up to the smallest number and that will be the largest aperture. Okay, so here we are on the back of the camera. I'm just showing you this for a detail. I've got my focus point. I've picked just one point to focus and I'm focusing on that Shetland pony right there in the middle. I use autofocus to just grab focus right there. And then I'm gonna take a picture. So here's what this picture looks like on the screen. And then we're gonna dial down to F11 and we're still focused right there on that same spot on that Shetland pony. We're gonna take another picture. And now this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to dial it into f22, which is the smallest aperture that this lens will do. And we're going to take one more picture. Okay, so we've taken three different shots, one at f2.8 or whatever was the biggest opening on your lens, the smallest number on your lens. And then we went to f11. You can probably get there on just about any lens. And then F22, you can get there on most lenses. If not, go to the smallest hole that you can, which is the biggest number. So 2.8, F11, and F22, like you'll see on that little cheat sheet uh, that we've been giving out in the Equine Photo School. You can go to the resources page on Equine Photo School's website if you haven't gotten that cheat sheet yet. So every one of these shots is focused right here on the Shetland Pony. And then at the first shot, you can see that only the pony and this tree are in focus. A little bit of this hay bale probably is, you can make out some other things in here. But once we go to F11, our depth of field grows a little bit. And as we go to F22, it grows much, much more until basically everything is in focus. After we set up the camera and had it on that little tripod, then I took it down and set it on the floor and took those same shots one more time so they're eye level with the camera. So I'll show those to you here now. You see in this first shot, I was at f2.8 and the depth of field was really shallow. You can see only the Shetland pony is in focus and pretty much nothing else is. And then we go to the next shot here. This shot is at f11. And you can see that much more of this frame is in focus but you can see that hay bale way in the back is still out of focus. And these horses, this horse and the hay bale in the front, they're still very much out of focus. Now we'll go to this shot here at F22 
and you can see basically everything is in focus. The background is reasonably in focus and the foreground, now you can even make out some of the pattern there right next to the lens, like really, really close. So basically at F22, everything is in focus. I want you to try this. It's time for you to do this. Uh, think of it as homework for the equine photo school. So go ahead and take your camera, whatever lens you've got, set it up. Maybe you have a tripod. Um, maybe you just, you know, set it on some books or something. Whatever it takes, uh, try this out at home and uh, let me know what you came up with.